one in 10 people in Canada have type 2 diabetes, which is quite a lot. That's 10% of our uh, population. Now, most people know of it as a chronic progressive disease that has something to do with blood sugar being too high, but that's really just a small part of it. Uh, and when someone goes from being otherwise healthy to actually being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, the blood sugar is just the tip of the iceberg and should really serve as a warning for the more uh, serious complications that will develop if this progression isn't stopped or at least slowed down. Um, and that's actually why I put type 2 diabetes in the middle of my fancy slide here because I really wanted to emphasize that it's on a continuum and the further you are to that side of the continuum, the more likely you are to develop these more serious complications. Um, now, the good news obviously is, is that it's treatable. Since the early 1900s, we've been developing uh, medications that are all designed to lower blood sugar levels. Um, now, the only problem with that is that by focusing primarily on lowering blood sugar, we oftentimes miss the uh, underlying issues that are causing blood sugar to be high in the first place. Now, these same issues also lead to the more serious complications that I alluded to, such as blindness or uh, nerve damage that starts in your fingers and toes and creeps up, eventually leading to amputations. Uh, your kidneys can start malfunctioning, and you're very likely to have a heart attack or a stroke. In fact, approximately 80% of people with type 2 diabetes die from cardiovascular disease. Now, this obviously paints a pretty grim picture for someone who's just diagnosed, but luckily, we may actually be able to reverse the progression of the disease, and not with the new medication either. So my thesis focuses on using diet to control type 2 diabetes, with the goal of actually getting people off of their medications. What we do is we'll take someone and we'll put them on a low carbohydrate, low calorie diet for three months. And by doing so, we're actually able to target a lot of the mechanisms that lead to the high blood sugar, as well as the more uh, serious complications. And what we've seen is that in just three months, we're able to drastically reduce, and in most cases, completely eliminate medication usage. We're able to lower blood sugar not, uh, down to non-diabetic levels, and we're able to improve pancreas function in these individuals. So effectively, what we're doing is shifting them towards this side of the continuum and reversing the disease. Now, one of the, the coolest things about this intervention is that we actually implemented it through community pharmacists and utilized the healthcare networks that they're already a part of. So this isn't uh, something that might develop over the next five or ten years to help people. It's something that can and is making a substantial difference in the lives of people with type 2 diabetes right now. Thanks.